Hi guys, this is Dan from Enterprise DevOps. Today we are going to discuss about Portainer, how to install it and where to use it. Basically, Portainer is a web interface to manage your running containers or Docker environments. Let's move forward to documentation and get it installed. I am assuming that we already have the Docker installed in our system. Let's move with the installation. You can just go to the server installation, Docker standalone, choose for environment on which environment you want to install. Let's move for our deployment. Let's create a volume. Once the volume is created, we can go and run the container. The ports are specified here 9443 port is for the HTTPS. If you want HTTP, you can use 9000. Well, let's just use this command and run in our terminal to spin up the portainer. Once it's done, we can go to our web interface to use the portainer. Portainer by default ex it exposed on 9043. So we just go to 9443 port, make sure it is HTTPS just put HTTPS behind the port URL accept the certificate SSL certificate because we are using dummy certificate once it's done we are good to go with our portainer installation so this is the main front page for your portainer there we need to create one user admin user also you do have option to restore portainer from backup so in case if you want to restore you can just go with the restore so let me just create a user admin user it's done create user so basically this is the interface for our container you can add your remote cluster remote docker environments kubernetes docker swarm for now i am going with our local so basically this is the interface for our local environment you can see up your containers images volumes networks everything here let's move to containers it will show up all of your running containers you can check the logs for containers what's going on you can debug the logs even you can check the status for your containers how much CPU, memory, network IO they are using in the running processes as well and they are refreshing with the time also other than that you can just execute into any running container to debug something or modify something so it's quite simple and easy to debug your containers from here it's also showing you the published ports and everything these are the options we have we have the images you can see the images build images import export the images also and you have networks volumes everything you can configure from here and the events also what's going with the containers you have a proper audit log also for the containers you can do multiple configurations from here let the host set up adding the registries users user roles connect with your active directory services as well you have the roles to give access environments you can configure and there are multiple couple of settings which we can use here and you don't need to go to your cli so let's move on to one of the great feature app templates it's a one click deployment to your stack or to your containers community already published a few of template so maybe we can just search for some template and try to deploy it let let's try to search for uh, um, wordpress template how easy it is to deploy our wordpress just write the name of the template pass the environment variables like it can be customized you can pass multiple environment variables also just pass it and you will see the deploy the stack it's a single clip deployment with this click you are good to go with your wordpress deployment it will deploy the mysql pod also mysql image and your wordpress image you can cross check from your cli as well let's go back to our user interface 
our stack is deployed we can go back to dashboards and then containers you can see here the running containers for your wordpress database and your db so you can just execute into any running container to debug right we are de executing the wordpress you can check the files here debug anything if you want let's pop back to containers let's try to open the port on which wordpress is working you can just click on it right now the database connection is not established maybe you can just give a couple of seconds and try to refresh and yes it came up so your wordpress is deployed now with your mysql you can just configure it pass some dummy data and this is how you can deploy any of the stack like the community stacks you can add your own stack as well also this, this is a great documentation to add your own stack so our Word, wordpress setup is completed we can just log in with our user with our password and try to see if everything is working fine and i hope everything is yeah and we are good to go with our website also so this is how easy it is to create a website and to deploy using wordpress and portainer it's really really simple let's move with our second use case nginx proxy it they give us the docker compose file so in portainer how we can use we can go to stacks add a stack write the stack name and pull copy paste the docker compose file configure the docker compose file you can also upload you can connect your git repository also you can also use your custom template so this is how easy it is to deploy any of your docker compose or running containers so with a single click you are able to deploy you don't need to come to your cli and do this stuff right now our engine x proxy is deployed we can come back to our dashboard containers we can see our nginx proxy is running we can verify on port 80 it's working fine we can go to the admin console and it's working fine so that is how simple and easy it is to use portainer you can you can debug you can monitor you can execute anything and it's easy for you to manage your containers even if you want to delete stack it's easy for you to delete from here clean your images clean your resources volumes everything from here restart kill processes everything you can do it from from your portainer so basically for that you don't need to be an expert in docker if you have a portainer you are good to go with the docker environments <laughs>